Welcome back guys, after came to previous video, we are going to learn operators in this video, PHP operators, okay? There are different kinds of operators in PHP, such as operator persistence, arithmetic operators, assignment operators, bitwise operator compression, operator error control execution, those are operators, but when you work with PHP, most of the time you are going to need these assignment operator, compression operator, execution, logical operators, array operators, those are the most important among them, okay? Okay, first let's learn about arithmetic operator where you can add, subtract, multiply, division. Okay, so for example, your variable A has the value of 2 and variable B has the value of 5. Let's add both of them. Equal addition, addition of both of the variable. I already told you in my string video by using this dot, we are going to add two string or string with a with a number okay so we can do like this here a we are going to add a with b those are the variables we are going to add them add a and b addition a and b addition of a and b is eight operators eight Okay, addition of A and B is 7, which is 2. Let me copy this echo and paste it here. This is same as addition of 2 and 7 is equal to 7. Okay, 2 and 7. Let's try this. You see, addition of 2 and 7 is 9, which is 2. And we need to do like this. Backup slash in. This should work maybe. I don't know why this break line is working. So let's use the break line tag er and now let's see what happened. Yeah, it's working now. So let me just use this for the next line as well. So let me copy and paste it here. Now let's subtract subtraction of a and b is just replace this plus with minus control shift d multiplication. Multiplication of A and B is let's replace this with multiply. Here in coding, there is no multiplication sign like this. We have to use star sign shift eight. The star sign for multiplying anything. Okay. So next division. Division. Okay. Now let's try it out on the browser. Subtraction is minus 3, 2 minus 5 is minus 3, which is 2. Multiplication 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. Division 2 divided 5 is 0 0.4. And now another important thing is modulus. Modulus. Remainder of our division. Modulus means remainder of our division. Okay. Mean remainder of our division is known. Actually, we haven't used modulus. This is percentage sign. It refers to modulus. Okay, we are getting modulus 2. Now we are going to learn about assignment operator. Assignment operator. Here, for example, let's declare two variable x and y. x is equal 5. This equal is an operator and this is called assignment operator. We are assigning a value to our variable. So this is an assignment operator. Now let's try on the time. For example, if you want to change the value of x by 5, let's do it. x is equal x plus 5. This plus is also an assignment. Actually, this is not an assignment operator. This plus is also an operator. This is arithmetic operator. Okay, but when you are you you, you, are, you can you can add 5 to the x in the same way like this. Okay, this will do the same thing. It will add 5 to the x. Now we have value of x is 5, and here in this li line the value of x will be 5 plus 5, okay? And here we are using another assignment operator. It will do same for, let me echo this out, copy this echo, x, for the first time let's 
initializing x. Here we will get the value of x for the first time. And we initialize x next. Let me copy this. Let me copy this and paste it below here. We should get the value of 10 since we are adding 5 at the x to the x. So here add by 5 to x. Okay, so now we can do the same for division, multiplication, modulus. Okay, so let's multiply 5 with 5, which is 5 with 5. Multiply. Okay, so let's try it on the browser. Reload the page. You see, initializing x5, add by 5 to x is 10, multiply by 5 to x is 100. So we had previously we had the value of x of is 10. We are adding, we are multiplying x with 5, no, not 5 actually, we are multiplying 10 with 10. You see, we are multiplying x with x. Here we have, since we change the value of x here, 10, and we are multiplying here, so the value after multiply is 10, uh, 100. Okay. Next important thing we are going to learn is comparison operator. Let me copy this and paste it here so you understand better. Comparison operator. Here, this this double equal mean the comparison equal. We are comparing two things by using this. We can compare two things by using this double equal. This is identical, identifying by a unique thing in a variable. Here, when you use this exclamation exclamation mark before a equal, this will be not equal, and similar to this will be not identical, and this is not equal. This is the operator, okay? Uh, less than less than this is less than sign as you know if you have little knowledge of uh, math this is less than equal okay don't worry all this reference you can find from this link so you can follow this link as well you don't need the link here okay so i'm going to use okay here let's declare two more variable one is uh, let's say one is g g is equal 5 and a is another one is a is a is equal 10 now let's go. We can say like g is equal to a, which is not true. Let me show you. Reload this. It's showing nothing because it is false. G is not equal to a. G has the value of five and a has the value of ten. Ten and five are not equal. So let's do like this. We can say g and a are not equal. Okay. Reload the page. You see one mean. True, zero mean false. In programming, generally on refer to in programming generally on refer to true and zero refer to false. Okay. Now let's use another operation. This is for less than or equal. Less than or equal. G is less than or equal a. G has a value of five, but a has ten. So of course it should be true. We should get one. Yes, we are getting one. It is true. I have to copy this and paste it below here. Uh, actually, let me add a break line or oh, AB, AB equal statement. So we can we can simplify perfectly. This will be more readable. Okay. Okay. Now let's say G is greater than or equal A is greater than or equal A is, which is not true. We won't get any other. One, so I say it's true. Why is saying true? Yeah, this condition is also true. A is greater than G, and let me copy. You can use like this. G is greater than A, which is not true. And let's use another one. G is greater than and equal. Greater than, not and actually. It would be greater than or equal. Okay. So this is how operators work in PHP. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about operators, and the link, please follow this link. Please pursue this link, no more about